from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is APTV. Welcome to APTV, episode 496 for Thursday, June 22nd, 2023. This week we have banter, news, updates, a bird in the hand, a tour of the store, a contest winner, a new contest, and nothing I know of that is coming soon. That's not true. Uh, I do know of something, and we just can't talk about it. <laughs> that is not true. Absolutely. You're right. That's not true. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Eric. What do you call oh, God. a woman who's really good at darts? Dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> She's good. Amy. Nice. Amy. <laughs> Mrs. Anderson. Mr. Orozco. I, I'm surprised to be here. <laughs> I didn't know I was going to be here, but Mr. Anderson is busy, I take it. Uh, he is supervising the movers, and for, for us, that's a really big deal. Um, everything in our old store, Brian, Dave, and I have moved several times um, ourselves, including driving to Virginia twice to get fixtures and Georgia, and so we have physically moved every fixture we own. This time, we decided we were going to be smart and hire movers to um, move some of the really, 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 really heavy or extra fragile stuff. So Brian is overseeing that, and you are here with me here I am. in the new store. Beautiful the, chaos. That you're <laughs> give us a tour. Later I am. On, right? That is the beautiful chaos. Yeah, uh, I'm going to ask uh, for location bumper this week. I'm going to ask uh, Justin to play the last two location bumpers of this store where okay. it was empty with no yes. ceiling and then it was had a ceiling and had carpeting yes and, and now it has this and and this is the <laughs> third and then next time it'll be much better but yes much we better. we literally just moved all the fixtures and and boxes and product and all this stuff and kind of I, dumped it in i am taking credit for moving the entire store you know yes because i changed the address in google yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go so you moved us. Yes. Oh I did. my God, where were you yesterday? All right. So I, I was here <laughs> momentarily. <laughs> yes. Uh, today is Thursday, June twenty second. It is World Rainforest Day. Oh, fun! Uh, World Rainforest Day was founded in twenty seventeen by Rainforest Partnership. Okay. So they just named the day after themselves, I cool. suppose. This day celebrates the importance of healthy rainforests for the climate, biodiversity, culture, and livelihoods. Nice. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is Friday. Yes. It's the 23rd. Yes. It's Take Your Dog to Work I Day. I like this that's, one. That's a good one. Created by Pet Sitters International. Okay. It was first celebrated in 1999. That's the last century. <laughs> yes. <laughs> This holiday was created to encourage businesses to allow dogs in the workplace to celebrate dogs and to promote adoptions from local shelters, rescue groups, and humane societies. And we have a local tie-in to that. Do tell. Have you been next door? Oh, yes, that's a, Next but, door. <laughs> that's, that's not a take your dog to work day. That's... This is a Burmese mountain dog. Very large. This thing is huge. He's super friendly. He's super excited to see you. His name is Winston. They wouldn't let him anywhere near me when I had to go in there one day. And, and they put him away really yes, quickly. Yes, because he can be overwhelming. So Lindsay, my daughter, is very petite. He would knock her over. Um, he, uh, he's, he's, a, he's impressive. He's, he's a impressive. big dog. At the old location, there was the shoe store. Yes, uh, Joseph had, Shoes uh, and Perry had a dog. Uh, I don't recall that dog's name, but um, no, he was kind of the shop dog. But there's even a little warning sign next door that says warning. Yeah, as, at the door. Burmese mountain <laughs> dog inside. Uh, we have an update. You have an update. Yes. Can you paraphrase it? Because I yes. have no notes so on it. So the Astrobrook and Ferris Wheel Press Nebulous Plume. I always want to say Nebulous Prime. Um, <laughs> nebulous Plume. Plume. Uh, collaboration. Um, some of the nibs were delivered um, recently, and whatever pens we had that we received shipped out. There has been an additional delay on the remaining nibs. Uh, off the top of my head, I want to say it's the extra fine. I was going to say fine, but uh, it, it's it's one of the, the, there one are of the two nibs, nibs going to be delayed. Two we nibs that. that were delayed, and they have been delayed a little further, okay. according to. Kenro, the distributor, they heard from the factory. Um, so it will be uh, mid to late July, apparently. 
Well, it's so. not too far. I no, think. but it was supposed to be like the end of this month okay. or early July. So, that's so there, there has but been a, s- a slight slightly delay. more delay. Yes. But the middle of July, speaking of, this is where you're going to throw a pen party? Yes. <laughs> Here? <laughs> Haven't you ever been to a dive bar? <laughs> uh, I'll we take the fifth on that. <laughs> Well, but have. this is where it's going to take place. Yes. It will look completely different. Uh, please, God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and when is that? Uh, July. That is July um, next month. Next 21st, 22nd, 23rd. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I yes, think. it yeah. is. I'm going to be here, you know. I'm excited. I'm going to make Steph come, too. Excellent. And Justin will be there. Justin will be there the whole time. No, he won't. <laughs> Justin, Justin will, be will show up on Friday. Friday. Steph and I will be here Friday afternoon. Awesome. We may come by on Saturday afternoon. Well, first your fans gonna, want to meet you. First, and we're going to do uh, Art of the Park. Great. Uh, and then. Oh, that'll be fun. And then <laughs> cool down somewhere because yeah. it's going to be warm that day. <laughs> it is. It and is. then come on in here. Awesome. Uh, I have a note here that the current uh, AP Physical Store, which one is the f- current store? I okay, think so all the, the product is here the now. So old this store is the current store. On College Ave, the one, the brick and mortar we had for um, just shy of 10 years, like just a couple months short of 10 we're gonna years. We're going to call it 10 years. Um, did close on Saturday the 17th at 2 o'clock. We went and had lunch, um, came back, packed up a ton of stuff, um, rented a truck on Sunday. Actually, we rented the truck Saturday afternoon. We made a couple trips, um, went home, took showers and passed out. Uh, Sunday we did the same thing, and so now, um, and then yesterday, um, but the store is closed. It's a disaster area. Oh, my God. This is not? <laughs> no, actually, the, the old store is it's, a little worse. It's it? really, <laughs> you know, it's like moving from a house you've been in. Um, and where some of the bookcases were, they kind of adhered to the paint. And um, I was shocked at how dusty some of the stuff was. So it's, um, it's really great to have a whole fresh start. Everything is here except the large cases that are coming now yes so all the product is here yes the online store is has been open. open has been open yes will be remain open absolutely this store will open next next wednesday, wednesday so week, is our plan a week from yesterday yes. everything going according to I plan i think you'll make it i think i think so it. um i will say that if that we um do have a whole bunch of things that are still in boxes obviously we're assembling the shelves to put the ink and the paper back on. So a few orders may be delayed by a day, but- As we find the product. As we find the product, (laughs) some things were easier to find than others, and some of the um, ink boxes I packed a little deeply. So, uh, but we will get everything out to you this week. Um, It should only be a day delay. Where can you learn to make ice cream? Sunday school. Lisa. Eric. You have something over there that I have not seen before. I know. Just Would you like in. me to share it with Please you? Please do. This is the... Penlux Masterpiece um, Delgado Peacock. Peacock. Yes. They're finally here. Yes. That's gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Um, that I may think... be the last one. I think the rest of them all shipped out. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> this is... So has my name on it, does it? I think it does. <laughs> it could be. Still. Nice size. Nice size. Yes. I prefer the Delgado size. You also prefer uh, Pro Gear Sli- Sailor Pro Gear Slim. I'm thinking Vanishing Point. The decimal. The decimal. Like the decimal. I like a thinner, smaller pen. Right, and I prefer the regular Vanishing Point and a larger Sailor. This is not. This doesn't seem as small as a decimal, though. No, it's I, not. I mean, it's, it's not. It's this is the larger of the two Penlux pens, or the smaller, smaller of the, of the two, two Penlux pen pens. But it's certainly not it's a not small, a small pen. pen. I think it's probably larger. Feels bigger. Uh, than a Sailor Pro Gear Slim. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And very pretty colors. Beautiful swirls in there. Very, very pretty. I see where pretty. they got the name. Yes. Yeah. I, you know, I always want to ask the companies, did you come up with the name first? So you, you have you a theme? You probably have, co- have contact information. I, I could do. I could ask. ask. that question. Um, but, I, you know, I do wonder, like, do you just say, okay, we don't have a brown, green, and orange pen, and then you see it, and then you decide on the color? Or do you have a theme... And then you say, okay, Peacock, choose that's these a colors. Good question, I know. That's a you good know what? Question. I'm, you're going to put that on my list of yeah, things that's to do. That's already there. Yes. Already there. <sighs> okay. Uh, you say we're uh, out of most of them, but uh, we're we do still have more. a couple. 
we may have, this may be the last one. I don't know. Comes with a Jovo number no. six nib. Correct. Uh, stainless steel, fine, medium, broad, a 1.1 stub. Not sure what we have in stock. Don't know what that one is. Uh, you can order special nibs for this, right? Correct. A 14 karat gold flex and an 18 karat gold fine and medium. Yes. Uh, I have not yet tried the flex nib on these. Oh, well, you should. I think I will. Because you like flex. I do like flex. Yes. Not for everyday writing, but for fun writing. Right. For fun writing. Cool. Uh, on my notes, it says, let's take a tour of the store. Let's go. So let's take a tour. We are waiting, actually, for the, um, by the time this airs, we will have the movers, will have delivered the last of the big heavy cases. And so let's um, take a little trip and see what's going to be where. So up front, here in the corner, um, I believe the plan is to have calligraphy stuff, the dip pens, um, this back wall will have slat wall like we did in the old store, and we'll have a lot of um, all the calligraphy stuff, the varsities and the par pilot parallels, um, all of that kind of thing here. And then the whole right-hand side of the store is going to be mostly pens, so some back stock. As you can see by these giant slat walls, we're going to have 24 feet of slat wall on the back wall. And that will have, like it did before, all the cartridges, converters, refills, all of those things, including repair supplies. And so this is all going to be cases with pens. Um, and so we're excited to just have a whole lot more room for that um, in the back. And so we're going to have a little lami, like a little mini shop and shop here. Um, we're going to put some of our really cool pictures on the columns and make use of some of that space, which is going to be really cool. We've got some great vintage posters and things like that. Um, back wall here, we'll also have more pens. So we've got lots of room for pens. Um, as you can see, I uh, was a little obsessed with making sure everything fit. So our planogram we brought over so that we knew where, <laughs> where everything was supposed to go. It's the only time I like graph paper. And then over here is major mess. This is where some of our paper gondolas are going to go, and by the time this airs, this will all be set up. Um, and I'm looking forward to that so we can unload all the boxes. And then this whole wall will be nothing but shelves of ink. We actually managed to fit in two more big bookcases, so that's exciting. Um, and I was shocked how dusty everything was, so everything's getting a really good clean. Um, so that's all gonna be this wall. There will be a couple bookcases under the front windows. I think the plan is tentatively to put empty ink bottles there so you can actually access that. And then here near the front, we're going to have, um, there'll be a clearance table. There will be the writing desk that we had in the store, kind of here where these lighter color wood glasses, uh, wood glass counter uh, towers are. So we're going to have the writing desk there with all of our paper testers. Then we're going to have <laughs> this glass fixture will be reassembled, and that will hold more paper. Um, and then further back in this giant mess that is a lot of ink bottles and paper, that's where our Loic term displays will go. If you're not interested in pens, you've got the ink and the paper on one side and the pens mainly on the other. And then in the back, which is really messy, um, our store manager, Dave, asked for really only one thing, and he wanted a little more storage than he had. So <laughs> we brought back our gondolas from Chicago. Hey, everybody. Hello. And so this is absolutely a work in progress, but this is where we have a much more organized um, capability to put all the Shipping boxes, lots of storage. Right now, it's a little of everything. 
ink samples will be on the floor, but we just needed to get them in the store and out of the way for now. Um, but these will be with their proper brands eventually. Uh, but this will all be back stock and storage. Um, so we're excited to have a lot more room before we had to hide things under tables and in the bathroom, and, and we're, <laughs> we're excited for the space. Brian's workbench is over here. So that's going to be his, um, his workbench for now. We've got our ultrasonic, our sink we're excited about. Um, we've got our bathroom. In the very back by the door, I know Brian and Eric are excited. We have an actual space for our bicycles. Um, and then kind of hidden off here with the screens will be an office for Brian and I. And then in the very back, you can sort of just see one of the lights um, and a tripod for our creative department. They will have a little blocked off section in the back. I'm not sure what we're going to do with some of these extra pieces, but that's what we're going to do for now. Um, it will be a work in progress, and we will move things around quite a bit, but certain things are not moving like the gondolas, and um, so we're just excited that we've got this extra space. We hope to offer some classes back here in the extra space. We've got a couple more tables we have to move in yet, so we just are thrilled that we have more opportunities. Thank you for the tour. You're very welcome. Um, Thank uh, you for being lots mindful of... where you step. <laughs> over here is going to be, and over here is going to be, and over yeah, here is going to be. It's going to be. There's a whole lot we of going to be. probably have to do another tour. When it's when actually in place. clean and, and a little less dangerous to I don't walk think through. you'll get everything the way you the way it's going to end up the first try. <gasps> you'll make minor yes, adjustments. Absolutely. It will be a work in progress for the for next the first, 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was funny. In the old store, we had a habit the first, I don't know, three or four years where Brian, Dave, and I would just be looking around. It was almost always a, like four o'clock on a Friday, and we'd look at each other going, you know, Let's move that. And it was always like an hour long. In order to move this over here, you have to move this, and then you have to move this. It's a domino effect. And uh, this is a much larger space, so that's really going to be even more yeah. fun for you. Yes. But I'm you excited. have been planning this for a long time. Yes, and, and you saw the, uh, the little diagram that I, I showed you. I think I will you. say that you have been doing all the work. You've been 90% of the work on this. That was... All the footwork from, from finding the place, and this wasn't the only place that everyone looked at. No. You did a lot of prep work, a lot of planning. You have made this entirely possible. This is my store, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the arrangement was that when we were building our Chicago store, Brian built that store. Brian dealt with the contractors. Brian dealt with, you know, and everything. Um, the architect and the contractor and the the union people and, and so you got this one and he said I am not building another store so this one became mine um, which is funny because when I moved back to Chicago that became kind of my store right and now this is my store yeah as it should be I think I as need to be. retire or resign <laughs> well, now this put everything this, in place first this has been a labor of love um, and this is well, there was time enough. At least you didn't have to do this in a week. No, my you God. You started no. months ago. We started before, uh, we started last year. Okay. We came and looked at this um, raw space on Thanksgiving Day. Last year. Last year, yes. Did I say? No, you said it. Okay, uh, la last year. You said last year. I was thinking June of last year, but it wasn't. No, it was. I, I, we had was I there on Thanksgiving Day? Did we look at this? We did. Um, I know, I saw it. In its raw state. Yes. And we, we looked at it. In, in fact, we'd picked it before then, but then we just wanted it has a couple been a long other time people to Much see it. than I had remembered. Yes. Um, well, good job, Ms. Thank Matt. you. Well, we'll see how it turns out. Yes. <laughs> what should you do when no one laughs at your science jokes? Keep trying until you get a reaction. We had a contest last week. We did. You guys had it. I wasn't there. Yes. You and Brian asked everyone, when it comes to notebooks, what is your favorite ruling? Lines. lines graph, dot, grid, blank, or something else, because there's a French rule and all that. So your answer is lines. Lined. You like lines? Hardcore lined notebooks. I answered in the comment section of last week's video, and it's lined. I was I moving things. I, I prefer <laughs> lined. Um, I can adapt to the other ones. 
if I have to, but if I got my choice, it would be lined. Everything else is too, um, it, it intimidates me, I'll just be honest, and it makes me feel like I should be more creative than I am. You should be more creative. I'm not. I'm just <laughs> not. Um, so, like, the, the dot grid, I think, is just so cool. I know Lindsay loves it, but it's I... It's in my way. I, I, I get write confused. That. Lines yeah, in my just way. give me a just box me and rules. put me in it, and I'm happy. Yeah. So lined, lined for me too. I yes. have some comments. Summer pearls. I like the subtlety of dot grids. Something I had never seen until I got into fountain pens. The writing stands out. That is true. If you can ignore the dot grids enough, to, I need a line. Yeah. I need a line. Zachary Hernandez says, for notebooks, I prefer lined paper because I usually use them to write short stories. Good luck with the new store. Thank you, Zachary. Uh, Liz Colton, I prefer nice, beautiful blank paper to write on and add a little drawing and maybe an ink swab here and there. Yes. Well, see, I, I can see that. Yes. But the blank, I just I'll cannot. I'll use blank if I have a guide under it. Yes, there has to be a guide. I cannot write in a straight line to save my life. I guess that's my problem, yes. too. Yes. I'll admit that. Um, yes. Roller coastery. Mara Christian, as for notebooks, blank for journaling, dot grid for planners, bullet journaling. I do have notebooks that are not lined, but they're usually, well, the Hobonichis are graph. Right. So I don't right. get a choice on that. Um, Gretchen E.K. Engel, my favorite line is Oasis. Mm -hmm. I love those notebooks. I'm also a big fan of the graph linings in Hobonichi. Oh, read. I like dot grid, but prefer light grids. Mm -hmm. No blank paper unless you have a guide to go underneath it. Yes, I agree 100%. Absolutely. Um, Oasis is not a notebook I have spent a lot of time with. It's beautiful paper. It's great paper. It, get, it got a lot of comments, actually. It, so, so oh. People are using it and liking it. Elizabeth Moulton, what kind of paper? All the paper. <laughs> Trying Hobonichi Cousin for the first time. Yep. Love it. Great. Trying out the French ruled. Haven't got the hang, hand of that uh, yet. Can't pick just one paper. I have tried the French ruled, too, and I don't know what to do with those lines. The French think, ruled confuses me uh, greatly. Unless you're really working on your diagonals. Yes, cursive your cursive. And, and yes. Uh, which I don't, uh, nor no. do I care to. No. Yeah. I've picked, uh, you want that one? Yeah. Notes from past Amy. I didn't know there was anything but blank or ruled paper till a few years ago when I won a prize pack from a local business that included a graph notebook. Mm -hmm. I loved it. Later I discovered dot journals. I tend to prefer dot journals now, but still love graph, especially when I'm designing something for cross stitch. See, now that, yes. That's, that's yes. a purpose. And, and if I, I am, were doing cross stitch, I would want a graph. I am absolutely, as you saw with the planogram, um, a hardcore um, graph paper person when it comes to mapping things out. I will measure like I did here, everything to the inch and, and then graph it out and, and play. Very necessary. Yes. Very necessary. I have a winner. Yes. The winner's name is Rick C 2872 uh, and Rick's comment was, I have just recently found the Oasis notebooks. Again? And I love the, that Oasis ruling. The combination of various horizontal lines and the faint vertical lines gives me lots of options and help with various note-taking, boxes, etc. techniques. I'm excited to hear the new store is here. Woo! Ta-da! When we drive over that way on long weekends, I'll have to stop in. Yes, please, please do. do. Please do. Uh, Rick C2872, and congratulations. You have won $20 on your Anderson Pens account. Please write to me, eric at andersonpens.com, and I'll take care of putting that on your account. We have a new contest. Ooh. We have a new contest. Oh, I like uh, this question. This one uh, came from Lindsay. My Lindsay? Your Lindsay. Okay. Is there another Lindsay? <laughs> Do Not you, in my book, Lindsay do, Wagner. Do you have, or have you ever had, a special occasion pen? For example, a pen you purchased to sign closing papers when buying a house. Did or, she sign? Uh, she, she, uh, only the question oh, came from Lindsay. I okay. came up with the example. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, do you have a special occasion? You've got everything um, for you is a special occasion that needs a pen. No, that's my husband. Oh, you got I me confused know. with Brian. We do have one pen that... Anniversary of the first day. No, well, that's when he gets a pen. <laughs> Anniversary the when we got the first cat. special pen for us is the one that we discovered we had two halves of a matching set. And uh, Brian... Okay, that's a special pen. I don't think it qualifies. Because that was an accidental one. This is when you get a pen... Oh, a special occasion pen. For a special um, occasion. For a special signing of something. 
No. And I don't have one of those. No. 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 Uh, Follow-up is, do you have any of your pens engraved? That's... <laughs> I have the one... That you had it engraved? No, I have not had my name engraved on any pens. No, I have not done that to any pens. I, I don't know that that's such a common thing. It's not as common now as it was Back 40 years yeah. ago. I'm just going to date it's myself and a, say 40 a years ago. Yes. cross pen with the person's name. Yes. Right? That was yes. the go-to gift. And it was not usually a fountain pen. No, it was usually <laughs> a ballpoint yeah. or... Um, a pen and pencil set. Right, I got the pen and pencil set. I have no idea where that is now. <laughs> no idea. Yeah. Um, so, so the question is... The question is, do you have or have you ever had a special occasion pen, something you received or purchased to sign a special document? Okay. To sign so a, a marriage document. certificate, right. a house... Divorce papers. It's happened. Yes, it has. <laughs> it's happened. This is where we would ordinarily go on to what's coming soon, but we can't talk about what's coming soon. Unless, no, we can't talk about it. Uh, what's Twisby? So, um, well, you've mentioned the name now. Something new is coming from, we're on the air, of course. <laughs> sorry. Act like this is your first podcast. I'm going to look at the date. Yes. It's probably not today. It's not. No, probably not today, but. June, uh, Okay, we can talk wait, about wait. this. Official? I know. Sorry. Announcement is that date. So uh, tell everyone about this, Ben. Just read it. <laughs> I don't know anything about this, Ben. Uh, so there is a new Twisby Eco. Coming soon. Coming soon. Called the Eco Heat. 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 We'll get a picture. And uh, yes, we will get a It looks heat, like a, a, a picture. It's a habanero orange. Bright orange. Um, yeah, kind of a habanero. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Like we do tangerine, have something we new. do have something. We do have new. something. Yeah, we'll get that picture uh, to show everybody. Yes, that, that's a nice. That's picture. awesome. And the dates are when? What? I'm not good with Chuck. Um, so the official announcement is was June 19th. The pre-sale date is, is 20th. June 28th, okay. and the official launch date, the date that we can ship it to you, is the 30th. So that's probably a Wednesday or Friday. Probably yes. That's what they normally the 30th, do. The 30th is it. Yeah, it's probably pre-sale start 28th on Wednesday. 28th is Wednesday. And on the 30th, we get to ship them. Yes. So take it away. Take it away. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. Like this video, please, and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll be back again next week. Yes. I, I don't know if I'm going to be here. Oh, is, is Brian out of town? Brian will be back. Brian will be back. Yes. So someone will see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye.